Hello humans, welcome back to a weekly shave, let's do it. New razor, Yaki again. Expensive one this time and heavy. This one, the Yaki Tile 316, I believe, probably a 316 steel. Head is uh, very, very heavy and I have it on my barber pole handle which is also very heavy. So. This is a lot heftier than what I'm used to on a regular basis. So, and as you can see, it bears a resemblance, uh, yeah, to the Henson. Not identical, but it does bear resemblance. Inspired by the Henson, but this is um, this is supposed to be. Uh, more efficient, aggressive, if you like, uh, probably <clears throat> aggressive Henson, even a little bit higher than that. I'm not sure, I've never tried it. Um, so, wanted something like this with a little more bite, and uh, Yaki delivered. And uh, I haven't been using feather blades much on this channel, uh, it's been a long time since I've used it on and off camera so I have a brand new feather blade in this bad boy and I'm gonna be using that feather blade for the next several shaves so all you feather freaks out there you can see how it works on me not a fan of the feather as you know if you've been coming around but uh, I have them so might as well use them I don't think I'll buy them again but uh, I'm gonna use those I have so, and I'm going to be using uh, this one, Noxtema Shaving Cream, and in my bowl I have grated just a regular moisturizing hand soap. So. Looks like this uh, hand soap isn't efficient enough, at least for me, for shaving. So that's why I always do use it in an uber leather. But it works well like that when you mix it in with cream. If you're gonna try, just make sure you get the um, the moisturizing kind. You don't want those dry hand soaps on your face. So, boom. Devil in there, and off we go. So yeah, as you also know, I'm a fan of Yaki razors, razor heads. Uh, ironically enough, there's um, there's really not many that work for me personally. But that's not to say they're not good quality and good priced razors. You should definitely check them out on AliExpress. So there we go. And I'm also going to be shaving these big sides here. So let's see what it really can do. Might be pushing my luck with a fella, but um, we'll see. So, ah. this, this is an expensive head. I think I paid 38 or 39 dollars. So that's uh, that's quite the expensive from those, I don't know, eight, 10, 11 pounds the Yaki heads usually cost. So I hope it's worth it. Maybe one day they'll make a uh, cheaper aluminum one or something of a cheaper material but we'll have to see all right let's go
No overhang. Smooth. It's always harder to uh, to judge a razor with a blade like feathers or Gillette Nest, some of those really sharp, sharp blades. Look at that. And that was a couple of months at least. And it doesn't seem to be clogging up. So that's always nice. Good first pass. Even though I don't like feathers particularly, I think they're overrated and overpriced, they are sharp. I don't think I've tried a feather in the Henson, certainly haven't tried removing that much of a beard of the Henson. I like the feel of this uh, razor, this design, and uh, I really like the Henson too. Of course, the Henson is. Uh, very very expensive one of the most expensive if not at the moment the most expensive race i own Still gotta take it careful with a brand new feather blade. You can't just whip it around. I do feel that but the edges right here they are a little bit uh, they dig into the skin so Gonna have to just round them off with my Dremel. It's 
So this is a very expensive razor head, but you can tell that it's uh, it's quality. It's hefty and well made. So, of course, the real test will be with lesser sharp blades. And even the feather blade can't take care of those stubborn areas. But no nicks, no cuts. Nice razor head. I think I'm gonna be keeping this one. I usually don't say that after the first shave, but I got a good feeling. Haha, <laughs> got a good feeling about this one. Ah. Oh, BBS, baby. Oh. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Gotta got to figure out what handle I'm going to be. Putting it on permanently. Might be the barber pole, I don't know. It still is very heavy. So, ah. Uh. Although this kind of razor, like the Henson, practically finds the angle itself, you still gotta, you still gotta pay attention. Don't, uh, don't just go off on autopilot because it will cut you. The Henson has cut me more than once, so mild or whatever head design or razor will cut you if you're not careful. So yeah, ah, how was that? Beautiful shave. Beautiful shave. Looks beautiful too. This is a high grade quality, I think, in my opinion. Feels great, looks great. This might just be worth the high price. So, that's it. Nice shave. With a Yaki, I will be testing it out in the future of course other blades and whatnot so that's it thank you for watching this week's weekly shave i will be back again next week with another shave until then you know what to do <laughs>